Now this is City Life. We're heading up to one of the three largest penthouses right here. That's within the 800 meters radius of the Tampani Central and MRT station. The renovation is going to, I think it's going to blow your mind. We're heading up to a duplex version that is 3,864 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths. This is the space actually, your six bedrooms. You're going to sit here, sit here, sit here. Meantime, let me just sit down on this. Or even up to a 7 beta as well. Full of property in brass for our home tour. Let's go! Alright, so we're here. You're definitely gonna enjoy this home tour. Just look at the way that the entrance is being designed. Homeowners usually don't renovate even the entrance for your area, but because you're a penthouse, you have this very nice receiving area right here. And uh, just check out this nice. Feels like a nice matte steel kind of for chrome finishing. Come, let's come on in. Everything in here is done with digital lock system, and then I'm gonna close this mint door and and we're gonna kickstart a home tour. We're talking a little bit about this place first because the renovation is going to blow your mind. 3,864 square feet, five beta. The two floor plans for upper and lower deck is about the same spread. Living dining, dry kitchen, wet kitchen. Your yard space is fantastic. There's a helper's room at the back. Four bedrooms on level one. One of it is a junior master. One additional study room right here with a walkout to balcony. And as you head upstairs, your entire master room plus family room, plus a private roof terrace for the family area. Just directly above us in the living and dining space. And that is where the roof terrace is being located. They've renovated also progressively. So all in, you're taking over a penthouse. There's $230,000 of renovation being invested into the entire space. Everything is in the tip top condition. And this can potentially become a six beta penthouse. If you want to stretch it a little bit, you can go up to seven bedrooms. And later I'm going to show you how to create that's six and seven bedroom. At best, just make it like six beta if you have a huge family living together. This is one of the largest penthouses that you can find in city life. In fact, it is the third largest penthouse. But meantime, let's have a look at the view first. I'm gonna pull out the blinds here for you. This is the east facing. You are in the north-south orientation. We are at the corner and last stack at stack number 38. And you get the full view of the 50 meters lap pool together with some plaza park, which is right straight ahead. And there's so much cross ventilation coming through because you're facing north for the main facing with all the bedrooms. And then you're facing east with this side corner view from your dining zone. Okay, so let's talk about city life. Three days to take note of this is a 99 leasehold starting from 2012. Completion was in 2016 and that's the year that it T.O.P. just hit its MOP in February 2021 this year. This is located at Tampani Central. Tampanis is definitely one of the king of the east from just two malls, Tampanis Mall and Century Square. And now it has then stretched and expanded into four mega malls. Tampanis one came up, latest one being our Tampanis hub. This is just located right next to Tampanis MRT station. That is also surrounded with a lot of commercial buildings, DPF buildings right here, banks right here, Kelly Park located here, NPUC income building as well, Kachi building, AIA. Right now, Tampanese is also having extra two MRT stations for the downtown line. So you have Tampanese West, Tampanese East intersecting Green Line as well as the downtown line. Tampanese is still expanding. There's tons of BTOs that's being constructed right now. Tampanese North area towards the IKEA. And this means that there's going to be ongoing demand right here for Tampanese town. Because most of the time, when families settle down in their first property, they got used to the estate. They usually want to upgrade, move back into prior properties within the same estate. When we zoom in to look at what are some of the available private condominiums within the Tampanese estate, you'll find that in the central zoning, there's only two properties. One is Tampanese Trillium, which has his MOP last year. And then City Life is MOP this year. There are three other different clusters. One is the cluster that's fronting towards the Tampanese Quarry area. Another stretch will be towards the Tampanese Street 11, where treasures at Tampanese is. If you move eastwards towards Tampanese Street 33, Eden at Tampanese, backwards towards the United World College, there's also another older EC. So if I were to look at what is within the radius of 8 to 900 meters from the MRT, 
MRT station, there's only two choices for you. You can also always just walk across towards the bus interchange at the Tampines Concourse area or the main bus interchange within the Tampines Central area. And this is going to be one of the very key choices for you. This is as good as having a landed in the sky. Very suitable if you do not wish to live in a landed property. You don't want that level of maintenance that you need for a landed home externally. Live it to the MCSD end. We're going to go through the different areas right here and then uh, we'll check more along the way. I want you to check out this entrance for you first. This is all fully done with Emprado marble. It's beautiful, gives you that nice modern luxury feel. Similarly, the shoe cabinetry area is also done with Emprado marble. You have a lot of storage space with the bottom being hanging in this area. Now, I think some of the design is because sometimes maybe you come home, you know, slot in some of the slippers below. You can do that. Four different panels of uh, half height storage space. So all these are for shoes. We also like this portion here that when you walk in, there's this nice welcome area. This floor ceiling is done in a way that flows towards this art piece over here that brings in that modern, little bit of luxury feel as well. The dry kitchen, and this is also done with Emprado marble. Very solid, very cooling feel as well. Very nicely maintained. A lot of storage space right here. So six different panels of pull-out drawers. And then over here, this entire flush with dark tinted mirrors. So a lot of pull-outs within as well. Soft closure, Electrolux oven is over here. Techno, wine chiller, tons of storage space. bring you to the wet kitchen now. Maybe before that, you can head outside. Let me just show you the see-through glass. At every corner of the kitchen and of course the dry kitchen, there's a lot of interaction over here. You get to see what's happening in the dining space. So come on in. You have a huge fridge space right at this corner. You have like six panels at this portion at the top. Five panels over here at the bottom. And three pull-outs over here, four panels. A nice ceramic blanco sink. Four panels at the top as well. Very well maintained and you have nice crystal clear backsplash flushing along the entire wet kitchen. Yard space, extremely important. Now when you buy a penthouse, if you want to do natural clothes drying, just do it right at the roof terrace. You want to use your, your dryer, you can do that as well. For this space, originally it's supposed to be the washer come dryer. Now they have put in an additional freezer over here. So WC bathroom, and over here is a utility room so you can use it as a storeroom. You still have an additional storeroom right at the stairway. So you can also close up the yard bifold door. And then when you walk out, you still get to see this beautiful living space that you have. Most of the units right here at City Life, they don't enjoy this level of a ceiling height space, especially in the living and the dining space. So City Life has a total of 516 units, two, three, four, and five bathers, as well as the penthouses. There are only six units of five bedroom duplex penthouse, uh, which is one that I'm standing in right now. And these are all like 3,000 plus to 4,000 square feet. So as mentioned, we are the third largest. They are all about the same, except that this unit here is pretty unique in nature because we are also one of the two five bedroom penthouse without a home shelter, within the space but you still have a storeroom because this is the corner stack that allows you to have the common home shelter which is right at the stairway in the common area outside but what's interesting is that this is one of the two floor plans that have this very nice even spread just about the right size and you have a lot of space that's built in with at least five to six bedrooms this is one of the six penthouse available within the Tampines Central region and we're also going to talk about the pricing analysis later but definitely Definitely comparable to some of the landed properties in terms of building area. This is fantastic. So this is a beautiful L-shaped kind of layout living area with the dining space right here. 3.38 meters ceiling height. The width is about 7.7 .7 meters. And if you notice, there's no balcony space here, which is great. Everything is built in into the living room. Currently, it's done with L-shaped sofa. It's not easy to find properties with this kind of huge span of L-shaped window panels and this is all nicely flush. This dining space is so cleverly done. Let me just sit down on this nice ladder sofa here. Just look 
look at this. I like this wrap around kind of customized cushion for this corner pillar over here. You can just imagine your whole family is here, your extended family is here. You have like two different rows of seats to watch movie, and then you can also be at the open kitchen area and the dry kitchen space watching movie night through a 75 inch television that's flush with a nice travertine marble at the back. This travertine marble is made into three different pieces. The owners wanted to have this effect. They have designed some cove lights right at the back. A hovering TV console with a tinted through glass. Carpentry is done very nicely. You'll find that there are a lot of storage space that don't feel like uh, it's over cluttering the home. And right now I'm going to bring you to the second zone. Come, let's go. We are right now in the study area. I'm going to explore this open to sky balcony first. Even the balcony has such high ceiling. Oh my goodness, look at this. And right on top is actually your own level two. And this is a sheltered area. Although you definitely will have a little bit of rain coming in from this portion here, but I think it's important to keep that open so that you have the airflow coming in, you have the sunlight that you want. This is north direction. Because we're at stack 38, we're at the corner plot. And it's also the highest elevation here because City Life has a cascading landscape. This study zone is pretty nice. This is the space for you to create the seventh bedroom. But I don't think you need to create that seventh bedroom because current five bedroom is already good enough. And and you really need a six bedroom, it can be done upstairs. Uh, if you really want to create a seven bedroom, this is the way to do it. It's you elongate your wall line over here and then leaving that L-shaped walkway towards the rest of the bedrooms, create an entrance over here. Now, of course, you do have to relocate this shelving over here. But I think currently, the original study area plan is fantastic because our owners have already done it up. Use this space for your children. Reserve your master room at level 2. Level 1 for all your kids. For them to do homework. They can do their tuition here as well. You can do their home-based learning over here as well. And you have a lot of top storage for their books. From the bottom, flushing to the top, you have this very nice design that is being done. So that adds a lot of texture to the space. And then the study room is air conditioned down in Benson blinds also. Now, before I forget, this is the under stairway storage space. So this is a second storage room that you have. Room size surprisingly is fantastic. This is the first common room. Even if I were to put in a queen bed, you still have a lot of space. Wardrobe is already set up. Ceiling height is also great here in the bedrooms. Carpentry that is being done. Nice dresser, study table. A lot of all these small little details like plug points and all that. It's already been done. Flooring for the bedrooms are all vinyl. Very long lasting. If you notice, ceiling fans has also been done throughout for the living, dining and all the bedrooms. If I cross opposite, this is the second common room. Also very good in size. If you want to put a queen bed, that's going to stretch up to where the plug line is. And you still have a nice walking space here for your sliding panel wardrobe. Dressing table, computer table is already done. It's pretty generous with the amount of window space that you have. To cross over, this is actually the third common room, but now it's been combined with the junior master. The invisible wall line was actually here. This third common bedroom does not have access to the balcony, only the junior master does. Original door was actually over here. So, quotation has already been done. If you want to put back this, relocate the door that's going to cost you probably about three to four thousand dollars and that's pretty manageable so this is the only alteration that you have to reinstate it back to a full form five beta your bed head can be right here wardrobe space will be right here and that is the same bedroom size as this room but if you're okay with this concept you can use this super huge junior master junior master has its own balcony outdoor spaces whether it's a balcony or roof terrace these are all done with artificial turf super long lasting after you put in some outdoor furniture right here this is simply great now i'm walking into the hidden dresser so if you were to come here to where i'm standing here and you look at it like this it's like you can't really see the hidden dresser the nice wooden laminates as a headboard with two side tables that's already built in with a nice queen bed in the middle nicely done this walk-in dresser is pretty white four panels some open shelving system for you to put in some very regularly used clothes. And then over here as well, you walk in here, another sliding door towards your own suite. Let's head out. 
So we are done with level one. I'm gonna bring out to level two. Before I bring out, I'm gonna share with you what the five different types of penthouses in Singapore, so that you know exactly what you are looking for. Because if it's your first time getting a penthouse, penthouses will typically and predominantly having level one living room, kitchen is everything all palm on level one. And level two is basically the space for the entire roof terrace. Second version was when the introduction of having some livable space on level two, master room right upstairs, and then the third version was the formation of triplex penthouses, level one, living, dining, some of the bedrooms, level two bedrooms, and then level three roof terrace. Fourth version is basically single floor plate penthouses. Fifth version was the one that we shown on the luxury, uh, having the duplex roof terrace on level two. Right now, this version is the second version, but it's an extremely huge version because it's close to 4,000 square feet. Internal staircase are important because that's safe for your kids. Just check out the designer staircase design. Is that the right word? Designer staircase design? Pardon my English, okay? You have nice little cove light that is stretching all the way to the top. So in the evening, if uh, your kids want to run upstairs and look for daddy mommy, the lights are on. These are extremely expensive, customized carpentry. As we come upstairs, Goodness, look at this. This is called a family area. Your second living room. So this is going to be the daddy mommy zone. To have some me time and couple time together. Watch some television or do some reading together. And you have a walk-up balcony. Oh my goodness, we love the balcony. You can look at this. Stretches all the way to your master room. This is the view that you get to see. You can even see your own study area balcony. You can even see your roof terrace there. Oh my goodness, the pool looks so good. Now City Life has full facilities, tennis court, kids pool, lawn space, 50 meter size pool. If you want to drop off at your block, it has basement parking. There's also a drop off point for clubhouse. Very safe for kids. If you come here, this is where you enter towards your master. Come on. The master is originally this big already. This entire wall, I'm going to bring out the 3D floor plan. You can use this to become an entire wall line of five panels of wardrobe space. Use this entire L corner, like a study zone right here. Alternatively, use this to be another wardrobe space and then transform this into like a study zone. Similarly, it has a walk-in dresser, nicely flush with wall laminates. So you head in, you get that same very white walk-in dresser. Your Ensuite with ventilation windows, aircons are all done with Mitsubishi inverter system. You still have a bonus. Oh my goodness, look at this. Reserved for your master room in the family zone area. You can use this to be a laundry space or just use this as a private area for you to do your yoga, meditation. Do some exercise right here. Convert into an outdoor gym. It's nicely done with a ceiling fan as well. These are real plants. These are the real plants, oh my goodness, look at this. This is the space actually for you to do your six bedrooms. If you don't really need the second living room, what you can do is very simply do up a wall line over here, entrance door at this area, if not at that area, probably about $2,000 with the door frame. Exact same size as the common room downstairs. Downstairs, there's four bedrooms plus a study. Let all your children have the bedrooms downstairs. Let your parents have the junior master. And as you come to this level, if you have a young toddler, use this as the baby's room or like a work from home office room. The key reason why I think you don't really need the living room space is because you have your living room here in the outdoor roof terrace. During the day when you need some vitamin D, this is the space. When you need to practice golf, this is a space to practice golf. This is a space to cook as well. You need to barbecue when you own a penthouse. Look at this. Based on this condition, I think our owners love to barbecue. Of course, you can check with them if you want to buy this over. You must barbecue when you own a penthouse. Sink here for you to wash. Turtles, not for sale. Oh! I have a turtle at home and uh, my wife always complained that I didn't have to look after the turtle. If I have five, she'll kill me. Kudos to our owners. You have five. I have one. Fridge! I smell durians. <sighs> I miss durians. You know, I had fever when I ate like four days in a row, every day durians, and then on the fifth day, I had fever. What do they call in Teochew? Pudua. 
put on. Sorry, my owners, I mean, for like disturbing your food. Just want to show that, you know, you must put in food here, put in a fridge here, just like exactly what our owners have done. So you can barbecue, you can cook here, you can wash here. The entire roof terrace is being done with composite decking. A composite decking is very long lasting, and you have a combined artificial turf right here for your putting green. We're gonna come here, your private nursery, and because you are so high, you get to see that portion as well. The rest of Tampanese, a little bit of Pasiris, right opposite, there's a all the new BTOs are. There's still a nice corner here where you sit down and relax. It's safe. All the balcony spaces has all been done with invisible grills. At least it's twenty to thirty thousand dollars, and that gives you a peace of mind if you have young kids at home. All penthouses you must have an additional exit to the maintenance zone outside for MCST usage. Plants area. This is like an outdoor rack for you to put in a washer come dryer. Very clever. Oh, this out. What do we call this? Fern! A lot of different ferns. I don't really know about nursery and planting, but we have some people in the office that love to grow plants like Jamie and Josephine. Okay, this is the first time we see a powder room within a roof terrace zone for you to use when you are entertaining your guests. They don't have to go into your master room to use the bathroom. This is extremely convenient. This is a great feature, very rare. Now, let's come back. We're going to look at some of the pricing analysis. We're going to bring out some of the choices that you have within the northeast and the east portion. So you have projects like Park Vera, Waterview, Belisa, Esperina, Trillin right beside us. Trillin has slightly smaller penthouses because there are four beta penthouses predominantly. It is not easy to find a five or six beta penthouse. They can make it into a six or seven beta penthouse. Extremely difficult to find. That's the first thing. Second thing is that it's also not easy to find penthouses above the 3,000 square feet size if you love to have landed living condo facilities you want to walk to the MRT you want NCST to set up all external maintenance for you it's going to be great because this is landed in the sky which is what penthouses are meant for asking price for this is at 3.48 million dollars 900 dollars up per square foot we're gonna head downstairs and uh, probably finish up the right now if you want to really have a space for a family to enjoy in the next 5, 10, 15 years. City life penthouses is definitely one of the key ones that you can consider. If you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing managers. They'll be very happy to show you the place. If you want to understand a little bit more about the floor plan, some of the additional things that you can do, they'll be very happy to share with you on site as well. All our details are found on propertylimbras.com. You can click on the Homes Live button. You get to see the properties that we have for sale. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. And uh, do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell notification button. Thank you for also supporting us on our PRB Insights channel. We have two Telegram chat groups right now and you can subscribe to both one for property uh, insights and of course one for our regular updates on home tours and uh, different news and exciting things about real estate market in Singapore. So once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Meantime, take care. See you soon. PLB people love board games by the way. We play tons of board games, like a hovering kind of hanging table. So at the bottom, flushing to the ouch. <laughs> so at the, that right now foreigners can't buy uh, at this and uh, what are five different penthouses? So ouch. <laughs> we like the fact that it has inter Okay. Ah, <laughs> okay.